Welcome to All Plan Engineering Quick Start Lesson 13. In the previous lessons, you've learned how to 3D reinforce any typical element like foundations, stairs, slabs and walls. Everything was done for a regular structure. But as you know, concrete is a versatile material that can be cast in virtually any complex shape. Architects like to amaze the world and leave their signature on daring organic geometries. Creating the shell is their challenge, and because concrete has good compressive strength but weak tensile strength, we engineers need to provide a reinforcement that matches the concrete shell. We chose to write all plan in concrete to simulate the complex shapes that can appear in a building or civil structure. Using the latest innovative tools, Allplan is able to generate 3D reinforcement for any concrete volume you can imagine. Double-click on the background to open project-specific bases and load the Lesson 13 Engineering Favorite. Now hit Close. Activate the 2 plus 1 animation windows. Create a view for letter A and position the result. Select Bar Shape tool, choose a steel quality and check the concrete cover. Now it's time to draw the longitudinal bars. You simply have to click near the formwork and Allplan will offset the line with the concrete cover. Hit Escape to finalize the shape. Escape again to close the placement window. Create a second bar in a similar manner by clicking near the formwork. Continue to draw reinforcement bars until you create the desired reinforcement detail. After drawing all required vertical reinforcement, it's time to place them in 3D. To do that, select an isometric view and activate the Extrude Bars Along Path tool. Select all the bar shapes, then click on any edge that shows the direction of the placement in the isometric view. 3D reinforcement is generated instantly. Everything remains parametric, so you can change at any time the spacing or even create regions with different spacing. The legs of the A letter have variable cross-section along several paths. To verify this, you will create two associative sections. These cross-sections need to be orthogonal to the leg, so you can match this angle by going to Angle and clicking on the edge. Select from right to left the element and escape to mark the section. The final step is to position the result. In the same manner, create a secondary section on top and point the view direction from below. Position the Section 2 result next to the Section 1. Change the crosshairs orientation to 0. Now you will create a closed stirrup in each of the associative sections. Make sure that Expand to Adapt to Edges is deactivated as the edges are rounded and we would like to make a rectangular stirrup. Click on two diagonally opposed points and escape to form the rectangle and click where you want to close the stirrup with hooks. Repeat the procedure of creating a closed stirrup in section 2, clicking on the lower left corner, top right corner and ending with escape. To interpolate reinforcement between these two bar shapes, you will select Sweep Bars Along Path tool. Select the stirrup in the first section, then the one in the second section, escape as we don't have a third section, and now go in the isometric view to indicate the paths. Select four of the edges to ensure a precise indication of the extrusion path. Escape to generate the 3D model. This reinforcement placement is also parametric, so you can change the spacing and even create regions with different spacing. 
make the typical reinforcement of 15 centimeters and deactivate other regions. In the same manner, you will sweep the bars from section 3 to section 4 while indicating the four directing edges. To view the reinforcement model in the animation window, right-click on the concrete and assign custom surface. Click on the blue pen that appears in the top right corner and select Change Surface. Move the transparency to around 60% and click OK. Detailing variable reinforcement is very easy to do. Right-click on any bar and select Dimension Line Label. Position the Dimension Line and the text wherever is suitable. If you want to graphically illustrate the exact shape of each submark, go to Full Schema Tool. In this table, you can see the exact dimensions of stirrup belonging to this mark. These schedules are associative, so any change in the 3D model or section will instantly update the tables. The most problematic and painful might probably be the reinforcement of letter P. The letter has a very big variation of the cross section on several random spline paths. Also, because of the big letter proportions, you will include two types of stirrups. A general one and an intermediate one in each section. Select the bars in section 1. Then select the bars in section 2. And hit Escape. Now indicate one inner edge and two outer edges. And hit Escape to generate the reinforcement model. You've seen now how even the most complicated variable shapes can be reinforced using the extrude bars and sweep bars tools. But what about surface elements like a foundation slab with openings? Create a plan view of the foundation slab by using the reinforcement view section and clicking inside the yellow circle. Place the result under the 3D model. Select Area Reinforcement and input a concrete cover of minus 25 centimeters. Click on the top left corner and on the bottom right corner to create a reinforcement area polygon. Then click on Enter Opening. Make sure that Area Detection is on and input a positive value of 25 centimeters in the dialog box. Click inside the openings to generate an offset polygon. Click OK to go Next and another OK to finalize the command. You can now match the previous polygon and confirm with OK to generate identical reinforcement on the orthogonal direction. You can now automatically calculate how much 3D reinforcement has been prepared for this model by generating a bending schedule. But how can you be sure that every mark is unique? At first glance, we have used 94 marks to build this model. But how can you be sure that there are no identical marks with different numbers? Luckily, Allplan has a very easy to use tool that allows a renumbering and rearrangement of marks. You simply click on Rearrange Marks and the software will analyze the bending shapes in the active drawings and renumber them starting to the minimum number 
or in between an inputted interval. The result is a smaller number of marks which leads to workshop economy. The engineering lessons are finished now, but we highly recommend that you continue with Lesson 8 from All Plan Quick Start Architecture, which will show you how to model the furniture.